Hey guys, and welcome back to my newest Planet Coaster series! Yay! And um, this is gonna be a small western town. Well, not a town, a park, of course, but um, yeah. This is gonna be my new project for the coming few weeks. It will be small, and the reason for that is because maybe you've seen my Meriwether, and um, I was working on the dark ride and it crashed a lot of times and it's just because my computer can't handle it so i better stick for smaller par parks right now and if i will be able to buy a new computer this year i will definitely go back to my meriwether because sh she i will call her she i don't know if it's a she but i will call her she she's my precious i really really like like that park and i really like the dark ride i was building so yeah i will definitely go back someday to that park so for now um as you can see i am building a coaster and this coaster is a part of my weenie <laughs> i thought yeah well why not start a new park with a weenie yay <laughs> and for those who don't know just watch silvera his movies he knows exactly how to explain what a weenie is <laughs> but i think you guys already know the weenies um and well this is a mine train in fact i was talking on discord with silvera while i was building this and he gave me a little bit of advice and like yeah well this is kind of um family coaster so it doesn't need to be very need to be going very fast or anything like that and and yeah well i i think this is not the most exciting coaster but i think it will be nice at the end with the mountain it's kind of inspired of the thunder mountain uh of disneyland well it's not a remake or anything like that but well you know what i mean right with the mountain itself and um of course i'm trying to make some very nice little areas with with a mine and that kind of stuff while i'm talking i already kind of well 90 percent finished the whole coaster and yeah well especially the station if i already already may spoil that the station i was really afraid of stations i i i not very used of making stations and i was very very um uh how you say that oh, i lost the word i was not very confident about the station but at the end, maybe you've seen my Twitter, I posted something of the station on my Twitter already and I really, really like how it turned out. So that is like kind of a spoiler because that will be in the next episode, so not for this one. This is a lot of terraforming because I really wanted to blend in the coaster uh, in the mountain, of course, and I was really trying to make the i don't know how you call it the pointy spikes i guess on the mountain itself and yeah well i i think yeah i think i i'm quite happy with how it turned out it's it's very hard because i would love to use a lot of rocks really a lot of rocks but besides of your cpu uh and your um fps going down if you use a lot of rocks um it, it's 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 just so much time consuming to make a mountain out of rocks so i i really tried to use a lot of terraforming but of course there are a lot of rocks in it as well but i think blending in it together really turned out quite well um so that is the the mountain i already got a name by the way for the coaster because I really really like Back to the Future so it's it's not really inspired by Back to the Future but still I wanted to do something with Back to the Future so I called the coaster McFly1885 and I, I thought that sounds very cool I'm not really good at finding names so I really hope you guys like it though 
and um, also the park name of course I made the park name and I call it Rio Bravo I don't know I was just looking for um, movies Western movie names and I thought oh yeah that sounds cool <laughs> so I decided to take that name and yeah well, I'll go on from there it's not really a name like you know, it's a Western movie name so it, it suits western but that's all i guess it's not really explaining anything about how i'm gonna build the park i guess uh, to be honest i um besides this mountain i have no idea what to do next but that is always how i build i really never know how to oh, i don't have any plans for building so sometimes people ask in the comments like yeah can you do a tutorial tutorial about um how to make how to start a park and i just don't know i really just start building and and that is the only plan i have and that is really all the time the same and i i really wish i could give you guys some advice or, or tips but i i don't have them because it is so hard like just start building i guess and and while you are building you you think of oh yeah i want to do this or i want to do that or maybe if i rotate it like this and then something else comes in your mind and i think that is the only advice i can give by starting a park I was pretty surprised that like I was looking at this park the blank park for like 10 minutes okay hmm what am I gonna do <laughs> how am I going to start this new series I had no idea and then I thought yeah well just make uh, a river around a mountain and yeah well let's do something with the Thunder Mountain because that is the first thing I think of uh, when I think of Western, it's always the Thunder Mountain. I can't help it. So yeah, that is when I started. And then I first started with the terraforming. And then I thought, no, this is going to be too hard if I want to make a coaster around it. So that's why I deleted it and started with the coaster track you've seen in the beginning of the of the movie. So yeah, I, I yeah, I think I am quite happy how it turned out. If for this episode, you will... Um, see me um i think that will be in a few minutes uh you will see how i made the top of the chain lift and that was like the first time i ever used the western themed parts and i must say i really really like the new western theme like western theme itself is fairly easy i guess like, like comparing with my meriwether main street main street has a lot of very small details and that kind of stuff and i think is it the same counts for pirates uh western is also a lot more easy to build well if, if you're gonna make a lot of stuff with planks okay that will be not that easy maybe but um for like overall the building itself is much more plain because yeah well you can you can add a lot of detail but you don't have to to make it look a western building if that makes sense i don't know <laughs> but still i really really like this new theme and i really am glad that i started this new park and as you can see right now i'm building the um the end of the chain lift uh, uh i wanted to make it yeah, well, I don't know. It's not really a mine building or anything like that. But I think that was the first intention using a lot of wood. And um, what I really like is using different woods. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm, I'm usually use the same color all over again. And I'm really trying to change that a little bit to make it just more um, come to life is that does that make sense i don't know but still i really yeah I'm, I'm trying to use the new theme and i think i am onto something yeah <laughs> at least i'm trying especially that new 
uh, roofs we have. I think for this building I used a, just a plain wooden roof, but in the end I used, a, I don't know how you call them, the golf plates? I don't know, it's in, in Dutch it is something like golf plates, but I don't know if that's the same translation in English. But you guys know what I mean, and if not, you can see it in a few, uh, few minutes, I guess. And just trying to use different angles to make it come more to life. And um, I have to say, the chain lift itself, because now my, my coaster is almost finished. The chain lift itself, I didn't do it yet. I, I'm not really sure how I want to, want to do that. But uh, since I want to place the POV at the end of the series, because I really would like to make a cool video with surrounding area as well and not only like yeah this is my coaster and this is the pov i really wanted to make something more like only the pov if that makes sense so um i have some time i guess to make that chain lift well however i want it to be i guess <laughs> so yeah i think um for now i will just leave you guys with the rest of this video and uh, i really hope you guys like this new park let me know in the comments of course and i really hope that you guys um yeah well, are excited as i am because really that station i am really proud of my station i don't know why but i just like it i really am very enthusiastic to make more um stations for now really uh, as i was saying i'm always scared to make a station because i i'm like oh, i don't know if i can do that and let's still do the the coaster stations and well at least for this theme i really like it i'm not quite sure what kind of new rides i will put in this um this whole park i really would love to make a log flume or a water rapids but since i am going for a small park i am not really sure right now if i am going to make that i will just keep on building and if i think i have the right spot to to make that kind of ride somewhere at least what the one thing i really want to put in is the connie express to yeah well it just belongs in a western theme that is for sure but else i have just no idea yet what to do but still I hope you guys like this first episode and I really appreciate it that you are watching my videos and you subscribe to me. As a matter of fact, while I'm talking, I think I am heading to 10,000k. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so I really am excited to hit that 10k. That will be so awesome. But um, oh well, we will get there someday, right? And um, if you didn't watch my th my thank you video for 2016 and the plans for 2017 i was uh, i asked you guys if you maybe have some idea to celebrate my 10k surprise party well it's not oh, why do i say surprise party all the time <laughs> that's so stupid but still uh so some kind of 10k video would be very nice but i have no idea what to do maybe if you guys want to know more about me so some kind of q a just let me know what you would like to know about me and maybe you have some awesome other idea i don't know just let me know and i am also i'm always very thankful of you guys commenting on my videos whatever you say well, at least if it's positive but you guys are always positive <sighs> oh my god i'm rattling right now i need to stop rattling <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my video and i really hope to see my next episode and um have a great day for now bye bye <laughs>